This particular trip begins at the Halifax Commuter Rail Station and will conclude at the Kingston Commuter Rail Station. Now we begin the street portion towards Kingston. And this is a perspective looking back towards the Halifax train station. There's the view towards Boston. This is Route 36. And I imagine I'll head slightly south to find the local access road that follows the course of the railroad tracks. This is Holmes Street. Now, heading down Holmes Street southward towards Kingston, Aldana Road looks to be our access. It does a weird dog leg ish thing before aligning itself with the run of the railroad tracks and here we are looking back towards Holmes Ave and the intersection of the Halifax commuter rail parking lot which is up there a ways you can kind of still see it Aldana Street soon enough reveals it was the correct choice and we have a wildlife management area along one edge of it. Now it veers towards a parallel to the commuter rail tracks which is what I was looking for. And here we have a look back. And now we're at the spot where Aldana Road meets the railroad tracks and an underpass bridge, which we then follow east all the way over into Kingston. So flimsy Google Maps aside, and all the usual nonsense of worry, it would appear I found the route. And Oak Street it is to take us ever east towards Kingston. And you get to see one of those strange railroad vehicles that drives on tracks as well as roads. And it's a town line sign indicating a boundary of Halifax Plimpton. And lo, we approach the Kingston Plimpton town line and the next significant road intersection. We're at the intersection of Lake Street and Grove Street coming this way. Here, we continue following Lake Street to the east. 
Lake Street is what we want. This should shortly bring us to the Bay Circuit Trail. The critical corner. And now, it's up Lake Street we go. Next stop, Bay Circuit Trail.